what I like to do, for instance, is I've got the colors laid out and I'm like, okay, I think these are the ones that I want to use today. And pardon me in advance, Emmy, but I'm going to use my fingers. I part. mean, okay, you so, do you. Perfect. I'm just going to get myself some a bit of like Indian anxiety. yellow. Okay. I know. And then I'm going to put some of this orange here. Mm -hmm. And I don't even need to swatch out the white yet, but I do use a lot of white to just kind of bring myself back if I've gone too wild. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got these two and it's like, yeah, okay, great. L looking good so far. And then I'm going to add, so I've got Indian yellow, cad orange, cad red deep. So far, everything looks good. Reminds mm -hmm. me of fire. Lovely. Mm -hmm. I then think like, okay, this is perfect where it is. I could take a little bit of, just a little, of this white and see what things would look like if everything went mm. together. Beautiful. I'm Which, still loving yeah, what I'm doing. really lovely color. Uh-huh. Love now, it. Now, I want to kind of wrap it up and bring it all together. So, I then pull out this turquoise and I've got myself a Peen's Gray here. The turquoise, I know, would look great almost as like a punch color, mm -hmm. but I have to be very careful because if these two mix, do you see how you get that purple, which would be great if you want purple, but mm -hmm. if you don't want purple, then you have to make sure they don't mix. That makes sense. Does it? Okay. Yeah. And the same thing goes for the Payne's Gray. Like, I love how it looks, but I just know I have to be really careful right here and make sure that this situation dries before I throw this in. 